gather together similar sized slides in thickness. You can either use our lapping geological lapping machine or the geoform to create a frosted matte surface on one side of the slide to create a bonding area. With the sample you have prepared on the geocut and it's cut to size, you have to lap one face using silicon carbide powder and water onto a lapping plate in a figure of eight action, again to create a bonding surface. We recommend the use of our epoxy resin and hardener. Mix correctly to a 10 to 1 ratio resin to hardener. On non-porous rock samples apply the glue along one edge of the glue with the frosted side of the slide gently squeeze together removing all air bubbles. With your glued rock sample place onto the geofix and leave for approximately 10 to 12 hours. To increase the speed of the drying timer of the resin you can place on top of a hot plate. To increase the pressure onto your rock sample there are four stations with an adjuster to increase These samples have been prepared and dried for 12 hours. Ensure there are no air bubbles on the bottom of the glued surface on the glass slide. This sample is now ready for the next procedure on the geoform. For porous rock samples we have to adjust the technique of bonding. Place into a rubber pot Create your mixture of resin and hardener and pour into the area and place into the vacuumette. Once your sample is within the vacuumette, turn on and ensure all rods are creating a seal. Go to the start position, increase the pressure to 600. Allow it to sit there for three to four minutes. Turn the units off. This will allow the resin to impregnate the rock and air to escape. And turn back on. Do this three or four times. After your third or fourth go, reduce the pressure to between two to three hundred on the scale and leave for approximately half an hour. At the end of this time, turn off the unit and allow the resin to cure. After 12 hours, remove your sample from the vacuumette and prise out of the rubber holders. This sample can then be either placed back onto the geocut to trim or the geoform 
to create the size of sample you require for the next stage.